This is the third MS2 online class for 7th standard of Berlin Baptist Academy. We are continuing the same chapter, chapter 10. And in the last class, we started some special lines in a triangle. And the first one that you learned in the last class was median. And today, the second special line in a triangle is altitude. Today, we are going to learn about this altitude. First, let's define what an altitude is. Here is a definition for you. The perpendicular drawn from a vertex of a triangle to its opposite size is called altitude of the triangle. It is a perpendicular drawing from a vertex, means one vertex to its opposite size. Now here is a triangle ABC and you know this triangle has three vertices A is one vertex B is also one vertex and C also vertex so all together we have three vertices now by definition it is a perpendicular perpendicular means the line segment which make 90 degree to the base so for this if you don't know how to draw perpendicular you can use this instrument this instrument is called a uh, set square you have actually two set square but you can use any one of them and how can you use this I'll show you here this set square has three corner first corner second and third and one of the corner is 90 degree see this corner this edge and this edge make 90 degree that means this edge and this edge are perpendicular so you can draw perpendicular using this set square how to do this now let's uh, draw a perpendicular from vertex a then for this vertex a opposite size is bc for vertex a opposite size is bc like that for vertex b opposite size is ac now let's draw from vertex a opposite size bc so now you try to put the size bc along with this h you can see side bc is exactly uh, coincide with this it and try to adjust this head square so that we can exactly start drawing the line segment from this vertex A you can move in this way a little bit forward and backward so that we can exactly start from vertex A but make sure this BC should be exactly with this another it then we draw from A here we get let's say this is D then AD is perpendicular. Perpendicular means this angle is 90 degree. Now you can verify by measuring that angle. Let's measure this angle whether it is 90 degree or not. We put this zero line with one of the sides from D to C and D is exactly in the middle of your protector. Then start counting from this side 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And this one is exactly at 90 so this angle is 90 if this since this angle is 90 now we say AD is perpendicular to BC so this AD which is a perpendicular drawn from a vertex from vertex A of a triangle to opposite size opposite size of vertex is BC so this AD is called altitude of the triangle then you can see here uh, all together there are three vertices a b c and three sides a b b c and a c let's try to draw more uh, altitude now let's take the size the size b sorry the vertex b for this vertex v opposite size is a c so again you can use the same set square now we want to draw from vertex b then max your one edge of your set square is to be aligned with AC now you can see it is exactly aligning with AC then you can again adjust like this so that we can exactly start from vertex B okay here we start drawing for vertex B this is also another perpendicular this angle is 90 and now let's name this as point E like that let's draw one more from vertex C 
you can see opposite size of vertex is AV so again put one eighth of your set square along with this AV and you can adjust this so that we can exactly start from vertex C then we start from vertex C we get another perpendicular that is 90 degree then let let this point be DEF so you can see your <coughs> three perpendicular by uh, perpen perpendicular they are nothing but altitude for one triangle there can be three altitude here for triangle ABC three altitude are AD BE and CF so these are three altitude you can see here AD BE and CF are altitudes of triangle ABC again if you observe carefully here in the figure these three altitude are meeting each other at one point do you see that you can see three altitude they intersect each other they touch each other at one point let let's name this uh, meeting point to be let's say eight then this H, which is a meeting point of three altitude of one triangle, is called orthocenter. Orthocenter. Here you can see the point of intersection of altitudes, a plural, so there are three altitudes. Three altitudes of a triangle is called orthocenter of the triangle. Then if you look at this figure, the point where three altitude intersect, we name it as H. So here H is ortho center of triangle ABC. So there is a second special line in a triangle. You have to memorize what an altitude is. Again, then try to understand it and try to learn how to draw altitudes for a given triangle. Then the next one, you have to memorize this ortho center. Then now moving to the next topic, we have perpendicular bisector. Our next topic is perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector of psi of a triangle. Before we move to triangle, first let's learn how to draw perpendicular bisector for a size. Now here we are having, we have a line segment, let's name this line segment as AB and we have here another line segment, let's name this as MN. Now first let's try to learn how to draw perpendicular bisector of this AB. You can see here the two terms, perpendicular means that line should make 90 degree with this AB, bisector means dividing into two equal parts. For this, you need to use your compass, fixed pencil in your compass, simple. So here we have two endpoints of line segment are A and B. A is one endpoint and B is another endpoint. So using your compass, now taking A center, we will draw two arcs. But how much should be the radius of that arc? The radius is not fixed, you can see the length of here AV so radius should be a little bit more than half of AB now you can see this radius is more than half of AB AB is here half can be nearly in this area so now you can see this radius more than half taking this A center now draw two arcs both side one upside and another one downside of AB two arcs then don't send this radius Without sensing this radius, we will take another endpoint that is B as center. I repeat, don't send radius and try to intersect the two previous arcs. Now we intersect the previous arc at this point and second point is here. After that, take your scale, try to join this point of intersection of two arcs and here another points of intersection of two arcs join them when you join them this line will 
intersect or touch AV at one point. Now you can see this line segment now withdraw, joining intersection of these two arcs and here another two arcs is perpendicular. Perpendicular means this angle is 90 degree. Again, you can verify using your protector. You can see here exactly 90 degree. Again, this angle is 90 degree. So since it is 90 degree, we call perpendicular. And also we call this bisector. Why? Let's see. Bisector means dividing into two equal parts. Now let's see the length of AV. How long is AV? AV length is 7 centimeter. Now let's see how long is this from A to let's say this point is D. Then what is AD? Let's see. AD, as you can see here, it is 3.5. 3.5 centimeter. Then what about D to B? D to B also you can see 3.5. That means now we divide AV into two parts which are equal from A to D and from D b to d to b from a to d is 3.5 centimeter from d to b also 3.5 centimeter which are equal in length that means this line segment is dividing a b into two equal parts so we call bisector so this board this line segment is both bisector and perpendicular as well so we call perpendicular bisector then you can see here mn2 here i just want to show you here about the length of radius for drawing arcs we take this much radius which is more than half of AB now what if you take the radius of arc less than half of here line segment is M and let's take now radius less than half of M and then we draw two arcs here upside one downside one without sensing radius we take end center and we draw arcs then you can see here these arcs are not touching each other, these arcs are also not touching each other because the simple reason is here you take radius of arc less than half of m and we want to get point of intersection of arcs so in that case you have to take radius length radius of arcs to be more than half of AV or half of line segment okay, that is how you draw perpendicular bisector for any size then now Let's see how to draw perpendicular bisector for triangle. Here is a triangle for us. And here the name of triangle is PQR. As you can see here, PQR. Now let's draw. This triangle has three sides, PQ, QR, and PR. Let's draw three perpendicular bisector for these three sides. Let's start with the size PQ. To draw for, for PQ, we have to first find what are the two endpoints of this size. P is one endpoint and Q is another endpoint of size PQ. So taking Q center, you can see radius of the arc is more than half of PQ. So taking this Q center, I draw two arcs. Same radius, we don't send radius. Take P center. Taking P center, we cut the first two arcs. Then now joining them. Joining them means joining this two point of intersection of two arcs. We get a line segment. Now this line segment is perpendicular to PQ 90 degree and from P to this point and from this point to Q are equal because it is bisector 2 so this line segment is perpendicular bisector of size PQ like that let's do for the second size which is QR QR is the second size then for this Q is one endpoint R is another endpoint so for that we start take, drawing up taking Q center radius should be more than half of QR then we take this Q center and I draw here two arcs one two same radius we take R center and cut the two previous arc 
you can join the point of intersection of two arcs joining them we get another perpendicular bisector this is the perpendicular bisector of size q r like that let's continue for the third size the third size here is p r p and r are two endpoints so taking r center now radius is more than half of p r i draw two arcs Taking R center, then taking P center, we cut the two previous arc. Then we will join them. Now we get another perpendicular bisector of size P R. Since we have three sides for a triangle, we can draw three perpendicular bisector of three sides. So you practice again this one. And then, now you can see. Here we have three perpendicular bisector of three sides. And all of them, they meet each other at one point. As you can see here, this is the point where three perpendicular bisector of triangle P, Q, R meet each other. So let's say this the name of this point is O. Then this point is called ortho center. What is this point? There is the point where three perpendicular bisector of triangle meet each other. So you can see definition of ortho center. Or sorry, sorry, not ortho center. There is circumcenter. Circumcenter. The point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors of three sides of a triangle is called circumcenter of the triangle then here in the figure O is the circumcenter of triangle PQR here O is the circumcenter of triangle PQR so with this uh, definition now let's try to do one textual question our textual question is exercise 10.1 question number 8 in a right angle triangle PQR there is a right angle triangle angle PRQ is 90 degree draw the perpendicular bisectors of PR and QR where do they meet now let's see here the triangle is right angle triangle. So try to remember what do you mean by a right angle triangle. It is a triangle in which one angle is 90 degree. So now I'll tell you how to draw a right triangle. For that at least draw one size. Let this be the size. Now one angle should be 90 degree. Then as I told you earlier, in our set square we have 190 degree here. So we can use again this set square, putting the size that we have drawn along with one of the edges of set square. And you can use the second edge to draw another size. Then here we get a right triangle and you can name as the name is right triangle PQR here angle R angle PRQ is 90 so this angle is 90 here and let this angle this be R then PQR then we get a right triangle PQR and it is also given that angle PRQ PRQ is 90 degree so this angle is 90 degree then second part is draw the perpendicular bisectors of PR which is PR, PR this side, this size and QR, QR this size. For these two sides we have to draw perpendicular bisector. Then let's do it. With the same step now let's draw for PR, PR. So radius of the arc should be more than half of PR. 
one arc, another arc, same radius we take P center, now we will join them. we get a perpendicular bisector of size PR this is 90 degree so we call perpendicular bisector this divide PR into two equal part this two part the next we draw for another size which is QR for QR taking Q center radius should be more than half of P QR so I take this much radius And two arcs are drawn, taking R center. We cut the two previous arc. Then we'll draw perpendicular bisector joining the two points. Then drawing this, we get another perpendicular bisector for size QR. Now, next part of the same question is where do they meet? Here this question is asking about perpendicular bisector of PR and QR. We have drawn for PR and for QR two perpendicular bisector. Now question where do they meet? Where do these two perpendicular meet each other? You can see at this point. This is the point where two perpendicular bisector intersect or meet each other. And you can see this is the point on the third size PQ. And for this triangle, PQ is nothing but this is the longest size. And this longest size of right triangle is called hypotenuse. So the two perpendicular bisector or you can say the perpendicular bisector of size PR and QR meet at a point on PQ which is a hypotenuse. So this is the figure part. Then now we write the answer. perpendicular bisectors of PR and QR meet at a point on the size is PQ. PQ is nothing but it is hypotenuse okay this is your answer so for today this much